707 days after I ordered. If my math is right, it's about 23 months and change, almost two years. It's a big day. Get a motor. Ha <laughs> ha, here it is. Straight from Alabama. Thank you. Well, that's one way to go. <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right, you guys don't know the color. Experimental red jugs, pewter case for inspection. Pewter inspection. <laughs> Christmas in January, oh, February, February 1st. So if you're curious about dimensions, it arrives 36 inches tall, but we're gonna disassemble this box and it's much shorter. So that'll fit nicely underneath the nose. So I'm gonna take care of the sides of the box and it's kind of nice, it's kind of a reusable system. You just take out the pins, store everything aside and you can reuse it. I wonder if I could get some cash out of it. But... All right, everything is back in the garage. We still have room to work around the firewall, which is my main focus right now to get this mounted ASAP. So let's talk about, first off, the crate and the shipping. So the crate was uh, pretty fancy, just those, just these things held um, the corrugated sides in place. It was really easy to, to take off and you can even put it back up and keep it stored like that. Uh, moisture absorbing pellets in this bag. <laughs> Uh, Mobile, Alabama t tends to be higher than uh, average humidity, having spent some good military time down there. Uh, let's see, what else? We've got uh, magne oh, uh, more on the shipping. It was um, uh, just shy of $700 charged to me th via uh, from Rands. They took um, care of kind of the logistics. I thought it was going to go to Hayes, and then they were going to put the plasma electronic ignition system in the box, but... Uh, they didn't. It went straight from Mobile, Alabama to my house. So $700 and that's about it. So uh, it weighs about 400 pounds or just shy. At least that's what's on the bill of lading. I don't think it weighs quite that much. Um, but what else can we talk about while we're out here before we go inside and check out the three cardboard boxes? I guess um, if you're interested, this thing is pretty darn beefy. I don't know if uh, Continental buy it back from you. You've got a hose here. You got spark plugs in, you've got fuel lines. This is an injected engine. So this is a IO340, which is a, a bored out 320 essentially in the experimental line. Uh, we've got the starter up here. Looks like a throttle body and fuel uh, injection servo are not in there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and head on into, <laughs> don't mind my fuel tank in the hallway, to check out the three boxes. Let's try not to scratch the table. All right, first up, some documentation. We've got the Continental Engine Logbook, hopefully blank, and then the light speed ignition packing list. So inventory here. We've got a sticker, no mags allowed. Nice touch. And then the manual looks familiar. I think this is the same manual I've written, uh, read online. Yeah. So installation manual, some wiring diagrams, and heck, they even give you a dual power supply diode, which I've already got installed. So, but thank you. That was nice. Okay, on to the fun stuff. So plain power. So this is the alternator, clearly. We've got some brackets, a belt, uh, some wires. Here is the alternator itself. 12 volts, that's a good sign. And 70 amps, fantastic. Okay, this is precision air motive. So hopefully this is the throttle body and fuel injection servo. So some documentation, some gaskets. Eight L clamps, more brackets, 
And sure enough, I see a throttle body. And I see a fuel injection servo. Perfect. So here's your throttle. Here's your mixture. I wonder if these are sensors. Let me know in the comments what you think those things are. I'm going to put this back in the box and in the bag because it's a little bit greasy. Oh no! Let's not break your electronic ignition system quite yet. Vacuum ho hose tubing for manifold pressure. Sure enough, here's the LSE uh, light speeded engineering plasma 3 CD ignition. We've got output, D sub connector there, input. So that's female, that's male. And then manifold pressure hooks up right there. And then we got A and B system out to the coils. So I love the coloring, by the way. Matches my theme perfectly. All right, we've got uh, DC mini, mini sensor assembly. I think this uh, goes to like magnets that are spinning for timing, I wanna say. Uh, don't quote me on that. Here's output connector wiring pre-kit, pre-wired interconnect. Okay, so here are the D sub wires. It's nice and connectors and then high tension lead guides. We've got brackets. We've got LEDs for dual ignition indicator LED lights. And then we've got the coaxial for the coils, BNC connectors, and two loose spade connectors per wire. Oh, okay, so maybe Maybe this terminates on BNC and then the other end terminates on spade connectors. So I won't have to learn how to wire coaxial, fingers crossed. Not worried about the learning, it's the buying of tools. Obviously here are the spark plug wires themselves. Here's the other ignition system. Now looking at coils. Mean. And we got spark plug adapters and copper gaskets. Hmm. Not sure why. I wonder if we have to switch out spark plugs. Well, that completes my unboxing. Clearly, it's going to probably be different if you don't have uh, light speed ignition. You're going to have the magnetos and whatnot. But hopefully, that was helpful. Um, as far as news goes, I am moving this whole project in one week's time. So probably by the time you watch this video, I'm going to be out at the airport. This whole project is going to... It's kind of intimidating because... You know, I can't just put on some house slippers and a vest and uh, go wrench on the airplane for 15 minutes here and there. It's going to take a concerted effort to get to the hangar. It's 20 minutes away. Flip side of that is that I will be super focused when I get there. Not a lot of distractions. So that's really exciting. Uh, and in a matter of time, short amount of time, I'm going to have the wings on and it's going to be in the paint shop in about a month. Like, it's hard to believe. And then about two months later, I'll be in my hangar. So... Anyway, lots of fun things coming up. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks again for watching. Till next time, you're clear to rest.